Hello, thank you for joining me today. It's Sandra at Artie Cardare and this is the last of my Christmas projects and this is a box which holds six tea lights and they have a wonderful perfume and I think that for people who like tea lights it's a nice gift to give especially at Christmas or at any time of the year. Um, I just love lighting tea lights especially in the winter months they just cheer me up and fill the house with lovely fragrance so I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful embossing with these with all this bling on the top as you can see it's sparkling so we're going to make a start on that project now and I'll just get my book my scoring board in so I'm using today a piece of thick whisker white cardstock uh, and this is thick. I would say it's something like 300 GSM. It's really thick and for the base of a box I thought it was ideal because you need something to be quite sturdy to hold six tea lights. It doesn't have to be but in this case because I've got this thick whisper white cardstock I thought it was a brilliant thing to use. I've also got a piece of Melon Mambo. Um, I'm going to emboss this with silver and you'll find out later why I've used these two colours. So uh, let's get on with the scoring first. So let's, where's my scoring tool? So the base, this is the, going to be the base of the box, this thick whisper white cardstock and we're scoring it at three quarters of an inch on all four sides, three quarters of an inch, all four sides, which is 1.9 centimetres. No need to write it down, all the measurements will be on my blog. So that's all those scored, put that to one side and get the lid. So I don't think I said that this piece of card measured six and a quarter by four and three quarters, which is 15.8 by 12.1. And this Melon Mambo piece measures six and five sixteenths by four and thirteen sixteenths, which is 15.9 by 12.3 centimetres. And again, we score this Melon Mambo at three quarters of an inch on all four sides which is 1.9 so it couldn't be easier right so I'm going to put my scoring board away now the first thing we're going to do we're going to emboss the lid before we start putting the box together so I'm using this flurry of wishes Christmas stamp set I think you can still get this and it might, I, I think that this stamp set is in the, the year end sale so if anyone's interested in that you'll save a few pounds on it and of course you can bring it out every year so right then so I'm going to emboss this and I'm getting out my embossing buddy because I find this very useful when you're embossing because it takes off any grease, fingerprints uh, or loose bits off of the card and it, it, you get a, a much clearer image when you use an embossing buddy. Uh, I'm using the Versamark. So we put the, the little icicles in in the um, um, Versa mark, yes, Versa mark. Right, now you just want to randomly, p randomly put your icicles where you would like and don't forget to ink it up each time. And then I'm going to leave this corner here free because I want to put my sentiment so, I, f 
find that three lots of that is okay. And then I'm going to just take that off the block for a moment. And I'm going to get my sentiment, which is sending you a flurry of Christmas wishes. So prep that on the block, nice and straight. And put that in the Versa mark. Make sure that that's got plenty on. And then I'll just move that forward to me so that I make sure I get that within, within the middle border of where you've scored because you don't want it hanging off the edge. So that's that. And I'm go now going to just put those to one side. And then we're going to bring in our glitter. And I seem to have glitter everywhere this month. I've used it on so many projects, this embossing powder, that it seems to just get everywhere, everywhere I go. I find glitter in my hair, in my clothes. Everything I touch seems to have glitter, but never mind, because we love the stuff at Christmas, don't we? We like, like a nice bit of glitter at Christmas. It's got to be done. So, I think that's got that off there. So put that to one side and I'll get just put this glitter away before I get it anywhere else. Right, so that's that. And now I'm going to just warm up my heat tool. So sorry about the noise for a moment. I'm just getting that warmed up. I'll just get this glitter off of my pad. Better. Right, so I'm just going to bring my heat to me and you just put it over where you've embossed and you literally wait and you'll know when it's turning because it goes from a glitter to to a nice shiny emboss. Can you see that happening now? I hope you can. It just turns into an emboss. Can you see how that's changed from the right side? So you just hold that over it and you can literally see it turning and that's when you know that it is, it is done. I just love to see that transformation as it turns into a nice emboss. So I think that's done now. Just one last go over it to make sure. Right, so I'm going to turn that off now. So that's a lot quieter, isn't it? Right then, we're going to bring in the base and we're going to score, burnish and score that the lines. It's really lovely and thick. This is the first time I've used this thick Whisper White Card stock for boxes, and I can tell that it's well worth it. So now we cut up our corners and just notch in a little edge like that on each side. That will make sure that your box goes together nice and neatly. That's that. So I'm just going to do the same with my lid while we're here. Just carefully burnish this over the embossing as well because you don't want to damage it where it's embossed. Just press it down. Yeah. Last one. And 
then it's the same with the lid as we did before cut up and notch in Last, last one done so I'll get rid of all these bits and then we all we do now is we just get the fast fuse and stick our box together just very neatly put the corners together. That's it. Right. So that's the base of our box done. Now we're going to do the lid. Same again. Put the fuse on all four corners mm. oh. oh dear I'm getting myself all stuck up no doesn't want to play ball with me. Right. Right. So, same again with the lid. Put all four corners in. the lid done and now we're going to get some lovely tea lights and I've got this beautiful colour I suppose you would call it a sort of a blackberry colour I just love it and they smell they vine they really do I wish you had smelly vision they just smell absolutely gorgeous Oh, lovely. So, we put six in there and close the lid down. And that's a lovely, nice, neat fit. And so, just to finish that off, I'm going to put some nice little jewels on there. Because, after all, it's Christmas. So... On each one of these little icicles, I'm going to put a little jewel. I'm going to have a big jewel on the bigger ones. And smaller ones. So I just need to cut up because these are joined in a ring in case you want to use them in a, a row and then I'm just going to finish that off with one in the corner where I put my flurry of wishes so that is that now I did have some cord silver cording ribbon on these ones like this says anyway I'll get the cording ribbon just to show you what I mean this silver cording ribbon I've used on so many projects now and I've hardly got any of it left so 
you go round here like this. I'm making a, ma a mess of this, aren't I? Right, I think I've got my act together on it now. So I'm going to cut a piece off and then you can tie that round. I'm just going to tie a little knot and then fasten that off. And I think that looks very pretty. You could you could put the cording ribbon on or you could leave it off, whichever you wish. So that's the last of my Christmas projects for Christmas now. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe have a go at it yourself. So from me, it's a, a happy Christmas to you all. And I'll see you in the new year. Bye.